Yo, what is up, Haunters? Steel Vigo here, and welcome back to another video. It's been like pretty long, I guess, a couple months, maybe not as bad as usual, but um, it's been a couple months. And if you've been following my Instagram, you'll know that I haven't quit or anything. So if you, like that's another reason why you guys should follow my Instagram, just in case if you're wondering if I quit. Um, I did not. Um, I actually did a lot of things, so you definitely should check out my Instagram um, because I have posted a lot of stuff. Um, not really going to show it in this video, I definitely will want to cover it soon because a lot has happened. I might cover it uh, pretty soon here, maybe uh, sometime in April, um, and I will cover some of the stuff we've been doing recently, but this one I felt like, felt, could not wait. Um, it is actually like 11 right now, some something like that, so it is pretty late. Um, of course I'm on spring break, well actually it's Saturday, so it's go back to school on Monday, um, but it was spring break, I apologize for not recording a lot more videos, I've just been kind of being lazy with it, you know, because spring break, so I kind of just, you know, took advantage of the chance to be lazy, and yeah, we did a lot of Halloween stuff and with that, but um, not too much video coverage, actually. Um, my brother and I have been doing airsoft and stuff, so um, we've kind of just been not really... Um, able to, or we haven't really gotten the opportunity to make videos, I haven't planned it out, but I definitely wanted to make sure that I did a video on this, because this is pretty cool, so, if you guys remember Disposed Corpse, that's what you're looking at right now, um, the old Disposed Corpse, um, this new guy I made here, um, I call him the Disposed Corpse, he's a custom character, uh, I made it, Disposed Corpse, you know, he, his eyes light up, he is non-animated, you put him in a trash can, um, you know, I thought he was kind of cool, um, and I thought my idea was really, um, creative, like, I, I know it hasn't been done exactly like this before, and so I was all proud of it. This thing that I've just made, or that I made a while ago, I'm even more proud of, and it'll be so much more obvious, people will not walk by without noticing this thing if it goes off. Of course, the sound sensor is a bit shoddy, because that's the way, uh, it is with these sound sensor things. Um, but, if it goes off, then the, 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 it'll be really hard to ignore it. So, uh, I'll just show you guys, um, the quick demo here. Uh, I would like to say right now that he does spin because of how he's mounted right now. Keep in mind he'll be in a trash can, so he won't spin like this, um, normally. But he will spin, and I'm going to actually, uh, I'll just show you. So, he's got his try me button, and then he's got his constant on. I'll just do try me right now. He spins. Um, when we put him in the garbage can, we'll just duct tape or figure out an easy way to just mount this PVC so it does not spin. Um, I don't think it should because this post down here, which I'll try to see if I can show you guys. Um, okay, let me just... This post right here is what's allowing him to spin. Um, so, um, if, w w if we don't use that tool... Um, then he won't spin, but we might have to tape it down in a few places just to make sure that it does not, like, uh, fall into the garbage can or, you know, like, get stuck. Um, but anyways, you guys can see his eyes light up, um, his arms move, and he, he laughs. Um, so, I'll, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do, like, one more quick demo. Um, I'll be doing several demos in this video if I can, um, but I'm just gonna do one more quick try me button, uh, press to do that before I show you guys, in essence, how he, how I made him, and, uh, all those details, so. So, yeah, you can see, I think he still spun a little, or I might have taped him in the wrong position. I'm just going to face him forward so you guys can kind of see what he would look like, um, how, how he'd be kind of facing. Um, yeah, it's pretty close, I guess. So, his, I, basically the idea um, is that what this is the same. It has not changed. He, I'm just going to put him in a garbage can. I'm going to set him to the um, sound sensor mode. Um, 
and basically garbage can recycle bin doesn't matter just have him somewhere not exactly sure where i'm going to put him this year um and he's going to be um he's basically just going to move back and forth and you know be, be creepy because you know it actually looks like a person now um so yeah he is I, I really like how this turned out um the unfortunate thing or maybe not necessarily unfortunate but um this right here i'm gonna put this stuff this is um with his original body which is very simple but it just gave it a little form like obviously you didn't actually see that part so it didn't look too bad but that was just to kind of hold this form and how to connect him but unfortunately this version actually does not have a ton of its original parts which might not be unfortunate because like i said that means it's better um i believe some of the only things that are the same the or maybe the only thing that is the same is the um head the mannequin head that i'm using is the same one um just because it, it it wasn't wrecked that badly and even if it was kind of scratched up and stuff it doesn't matter because it's covered up by the garbage bag in fact the garbage bag isn't even the same one because the old one is ripped up so that i could have the eye holes so yeah everything else is is new um but i'd say it's the same idea mannequin head's like a main part of it because that's the head so i'd say it's it still counts as the same guy if not like it's just an improved version um so basically i'll just go into how he's moved real quick i'll just take off the garbage bag so what you're looking at is i'm gonna move is the inside or the form part of um disposed corpse you can't really see his hands and stuff it's hard to get it all in the shot see it's the same mannequin head um so what is the module that makes him move is actually to a the frank mini frankenstein thing anima uh i guess animated prop um that i had it's a tiny one we got it at shopco for clearance ar around 30 dollars it's originally 50 it was the last one left i will real quick probably put a uh, cl a quick clip of him um of him moving or this guy who's low on battery and the only way to make him go off is by kicking him unfortunately okay so what i did was i took basically i had to use a pliers and i basically disconnected the hands and head of the uh frankenstein thing so this is all that th this is the running parts might be able to use it for something not sure also i had to take the uh, clothes fabric off um, of it, and it actually came off relatively cleanly, only a couple rips, and those rips are, um, somewhat fixable or unnoticeable. So, what I did is I took that apart, and then for the arms, I took some of those pool noodle things that I use, um, like, this stuff, um, right here. Sorry if you can't really read that very well. Um, and I cut them basically down to my arm's length, um, and then... Okay, well, before that, there is a mini, like, there's a mini, uh, foam arm that's already on there with a hook that hooks into the arms to give the, um, mini Frankenstein's arms forms, form. And basically, I took some, uh, uh, wire, like, these, uh, what are the clothes hangers, I guess is what they're called. Sorry if I just peeked the audio. Um. Uh, close that hangers and I separated them and then I connected them to the existing ones and that gave me about uh, Pretty much about human arm length or my arm length at least and then I connected those and then I basically just sli um, slid the uh, Little I, I like to call them pool noodles, but the pipe insulator insulation um, over those as you can kind of see um, the tops of them close to the module and then I just took some Halloween Haunters, I believe is what they're called, brand, um, hands, grave-breaking hands. I took, um, the cardboard out, and then I took the, the, obviously the cloth off, and the actual stakes off, and then I just slid it over the pool noodles, and it fits relatively t tightly. And I'm thinking I might actually, um, paint a little detail into them. I'm gonna move up a little bit. And so you can see the module. Okay, so you can see that I'm gonna turn this light off real quick. And you can see flash. Nope. Okay, you can see that I basically just hot glued 
the um, mannequin head into the uh, moving part, I guess is wh whatever it's called, the moving part of the old head system that I disconnected, and I basically took the LED wires, and then I made two holes um, right there, and I basically made two holes, and then I put the wires through the, the LED, uh, the wires with the LED through, and then I basically took, pulled the LEDs through, and then I glued them in place where I wanted them at, for the head so that the eyes would flash, and that they were roughly, it's not perfect, but it works, roughly where a human eye would be um, for it. And I used the mannequin head, obviously, for form. Uh, that part is relatively simple. So, basically, that is um, how I built him. Not too bad, actually. Um, I took a little bit. took me, like, maybe two hours. But if I knew exactly what I was doing and uh, had an easier time with the mannequin head feeding the uh, LEDs through, I'd say it maybe would take about an hour to maybe an hour and a half if you knew what you were doing, um, but it seems like a relatively simple project, but the mannequin head is, is a bit tricky. If you are good and experienced with getting, doing that, then I could say you might even be able to do it in 30 minutes, but everybody's different, so, yeah. Um, so then you just throw the garbage bag over it, slide it into, oh, and then I also obviously glued in a, a PVC pipe part into the module, uh, you could technically, like, use screws or drill it in, that kind of stuff, if you want it to be a little more permanent. I'm happy with how it holds for now. It's not like it's going to be an issue. Um, I recently put in fresh batteries because um, I feel like with this extra weight, it's not necessarily going to break it, but it is going to kind of possibly run through batteries quicker. I'm not sure if that's how it works, but uh, that's what I've noticed. Uh, it happened to me. It's kind of... It, plus, they were the demo batteries originally, and they been used quite a bit, so I had to replace them. So, basically, that is how I made that. Um, I think I covered just about everything. Um, so yeah, he's gonna be put in a trash can, that kind of stuff. Real quick, show you him with all this. Oops. So yeah, that was how it works then. And you can see his head moves very dead because it's a little bit heavy. Um, I don't think it's going to create any, like, mechanical failure or anything like that. But it is something to note. Um, if you wanted it to not look like that, I feel like it looks very zombie-like, so I like the way it came out. But you will get a kind of zombie-like movement with, with something like that if you use the exact same prop I use. I was not able to find the mini Frankenstein thing um, at ShopCo um, online. Uh, so, I was not able to find that. If I ever do find it, uh, always keep checking the description, because if I do find it at some point, even if it's like a year later, I'll do my best to try to remember to throw that down there if I find a link. <laughs> garbage bag, the garbage bag can be adjusted However you want it, um, you can always fold it in the back if you want to duct tape um, some of it back because there is a little bit of extra. If you want to have the hands exposed, you can rose, rise, uh, rose, um, you can, you know, move it up. You can basically do it to preference, so that is nice, and you can always use different types of garbage bags, all kinds of stuff. Um, but yeah, that is the, I guess the, the, this is pretty much it for the, um, demo of this guy, and I believe I covered everything of how he is made, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just about it, um, but it is a bit of a process, if you know what you're doing, or if, like, let's say I did it again, I made another one, uh, like I said, it could be much easier to do, it is really quite simple if you think about it, um, like I said, maybe that mannequin head might not even be necessary, um, but this is the way I recommend you do it, um, I wish I could do a like a how-to on this and I might in the future if we get more of these cheap um, but another thing is I won't do that how-to unless uh, I get um, you know at least a couple of you guys wanting to see that um, but keep in mind it will be a while before I'd be able to do that anyway guys I apologize for not making videos in a while um, anyway guys um, thanks for watching 
and I hope this video is helpful.